Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi there, it's Brett Thompson, Carbrook Golf Club. Uh, I'm just going to do something a little bit different today instead of going out on the course and giving you an update of what we've been doing and stuff. I'd just like to um, introduce you to our mechanic who's going to be retiring as of today. So his name's Joe. Say good day, Joe. Hello. So he's just going to like to give you a little insight of like um, where he come from and how long he's been here for the start with. So if you'd like to just tell him what. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Joe Canago, and uh, I was born in Sicily 70 years ago. That's an island of Italy. Uh, then I migrated to Australia in 1969. I was 18 years old then. Uh, after doing all my apprenticeship in mechanical matters back in Italy, when I arrived in Australia, I continued to pursue my career. And I have been a mechanic all my life. So I spent 14 years of my life in Darwin. Uh, running my own property, my own farm, and also uh, doing repairs in uh, industrial engines and lawnmowers and construction equipment. Then, back in 1993, I moved down to Brisbane and I continued my mechanical life, uh, including working at Carbrook Golf Club. I have been here 12 years and I started here in 2008. And uh, it has been 12 wonderful years. I enjoyed my career. I enjoyed working with the agricultural machinery and the turf uh, machinery. So here I am, and now I'm at the end of it, and uh, today it's my last day. All right, so that's good, Joe. So like, that just gives you a little bit about Joe, like where he come from and what he's done to get to this point. So like, while you've been here, Joe, like, what would you think of the biggest changes that you've seen happen over the years? Oh, this club has changed so much since I started in, in 2008. Mm. Uh, but the biggest changes I remember is uh, the filling up of this light here. Uh, before this light used to be double than what it is now. Uh, and then uh, uh, after filling it up, uh, they built this wonderful workshop here, including a hoist. That's made my life much, much easier. Uh, also, I remember uh, building up the new tent fairway and numerous tees and bunkers all over the course. Yeah, okay, that's nice, Joe. So, um, so what do you think, like, once you retire, what, what's, what are you going to miss the most about this place, like, when you leave? Well, the first, my life will totally change because I have spent uh, many, many days in this place here. This has been a second family for me, uh, but I'll be missing your company yeah. as a boss, uh, giving me guidance on what, what to repair the machines and get them ready to, to work and cut grass. Uh, I'll be missing my friends, uh, having a smoker here. I'll be missing my general manager, Scott Wagstaff, which has been a wonderful person to me, a wonderful manager. Uh, yeah, and I'll be missing the golfers flying down here and enjoying themselves in this uh, beautiful scenery that uh, we can see here. Yeah, all right. All right. Thanks, Joe, for that. Um, also, like, what, what plans have you got? Like, when you retire, what are you going to do? What have you got on the horizon that you see yourself coming to do? Well, I've been working for about three or four years now on a project uh, that I've got passion for mechanical matters, but uh, my main project is my electric car. And I'm planning, it's 90% finished now, but I'm planning to finish it off within six months. Okay, nice. Show. So that's Joe there. Like you'll probably won't see him around too much anymore, but he'll pop in from time to time. And uh, I just thought I'd give you a little insight of like Joe, so everyone's sort of can put a picture to the face and that. And that's probably all I'd like to say for um, this month. So until um, next month, and I'll be back out in the course. I'll give you an update. Till then, see you later. And thanks a lot. Bye bye. All right. See you, mate.